What is up, guys? This is Pinzo back with another video today. And what I have for you guys is some Greystone. This is a build that I was kind of cooking that is kind of the anti-defense build. This is the Armor Shred Extraordinaire build. And with Basilisk and Citadel, you get to reduce the enemy's armor a bunch. Then you slap on a perforator as well for the extra slow, of course, but also for that 30% armor penetration. And it's actually, I, I think it works well against bruisers. Against full tanks, it's not as noticeable. And against squishies, it's even less noticeable. But those bruisers that have one or two defense items, this build seems to actually slam pretty hard. So hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, leave a like, comment, subscribe. But we'll jump right into I it. I wonder if like perforator is just like on a damage, like if, if you're going to go two damage items... I mean, perforator is a lot of extra damage. 30% pen on one item is insane. Like, I wonder if that's just worth it. This guy's gonna swing away on these minions. I'll let him. He's on weak side, so... I wanted to let him do that. I shouldn't have hit the minions like at all. Because now I'm just giving him free level two. It's fine. I got to respect it a little bit. I think Citadel what, does what Perforator does. Well, yeah, but why not go both? Like, that's kind of my point. Like, you're probably building Citadel anyway. Why not just go Perforator as well? It gives you, if you have Citadel and Perforator, you're effectively dodging, like, because it's 20% reduction and then 30% pen. So you're dodging, like, a shit ton of their of their defense. And even Squishies in this game have, like, 100 base armor late game. Inside of this dude. I was inside of that guy. A lot of people have dreamt about being inside of Grux, man. 30% pen is the cap. Yeah, but Citadel's not Citadel's not penetration. That's the thing. Citadel is armor reduction. Citadel, the 20% armor reduction on Citadel doesn't doesn't go towards the penetration cap at all. There's a the physical penetration is capped at 30%. Yeah. Either it's well, okay, correction. It's either capped it's at 30% or the physical uh, pen items don't stack. Because the tier two penetration item, the tomahawk, does not stack. With, it either, again, either the penetration cap is 30 or the, or tomahawk does not stack with demo and perforator. It's one of those two. I don't know which, but it's one of those two. It's kind of annoying. Wave's pushing into me now, though. Take my base. He lets me. Not gonna let me. Bro, I get it, man. You're playing Grux. Oh my god. Oh, Quang is here. Alright, good time to back up anyway. It's a cannon wave. I'm not gonna miss anything. I'm gonna miss, like, probably two creeps, maybe three on this base. That's fine. I'm gonna grab CDR. But like if you go if you go Bazzi Perforator Citadel, then it's twenty percent reduction and another thirty percent reduction. Right? Is this twenty four percent? And I don't know how those stack. I, I I don't know if that I'm assuming it's not linearly, so it's probably not forty four percent reduction off of those two items. But right, that's they will stack in some way. So however those two stack, that's a lot of reduction. Plus 30% pen from Perforator, right? I mean, you're like hitting people for true damage. Right? I mean, like, is my thought process wrong? I know Perforator is not a very good, like, bruiser item, but... Like, is it worth it to have one just, like, not tanky item in your build? And... Yeah, NT, NT. Not killing me, chief. 
I don't know why this guy came back. I guess he, he came to gank, walked away, did his blue jungle, then came back, I guess. Math is mathing, but Fred usually doesn't. Those things should stack. I don't I have no idea why they wouldn't stack. I have no idea. The fact this dude came back is super crazy, just by the way. I would imagine all three of them stack. Again, it's probably not linearly. 20% reduction from Citadel probably doesn't directly stack with the 24% reduction you get from Bazzi. Right? But they definitely will in stack in some way. Because one of them is armor reduction. And one of them is armor shred. So they will definitely in stack somehow. I got six. I'm behind this guy in XP. A little ahead in minions, but I'm way behind in XP. I'm because he well, he just got that green buff. He's probably five creeps ahead of me at least. Because he's in XP range right there. This is a slow push. I wish I could freeze this, but cannon wave. Cannon wave makes it a slow push. Went full broadsword. He doesn't have any CDR yet. I have a little bit. No way he held this wave. Oh, there's no way that hit me. That's okay. Yeah, he's like three creeps ahead of me. He just hit seven. No sound? What? Be able to hear me. My audio is not broken on my end. That's all I know. If there's an audio... If audio is broken... Not me this time. I have to wait for this to walk into me. This is just a fat wave. He has like nine archers, man. I can't fight him in that. He has he has three, but that's about three too many for me to want to take a trade right now. But he did give me a freeze. This is a cannon wave, so it won't freeze. Well, I don't know. This is a pretty big wave. This should freeze. Yeah, he gave me a freeze. Actually going to thin this a little bit. Big freeze. Hot pockets or pizza rolls for me? Uh, probably pizza rolls if I had to choose one. Okay, he missed his cannon. I'm getting a lot of XP back on this guy, just by the way. Off of this one freeze. Doesn't have his full bazzy. Uh, I don't want to fight him. He's, he's way ahead of me on items right now. He is definitely up on me in items. I'm just going to stay for my full Bazzi, honestly. I need 100 gold. I think he's rotating to that Fangtooth, man. I don't know what this guy's doing. It's a weird time for him to choose to leave lane. Because he doesn't have his Bazzi finish. There's no way. Not when I had just got it finished and I'm up in CS. Yeah, he's over at the Fangtooth. I'm going to take another wave, I guess. This guy's blue buff is probably up. Ah, I'm too late to take blue. I do think, I think his blue is up. No, not quite. I'm just going to base. I would push this wave, but I don't really gain anything out of it. 
Yeah, he's back. Does not have his full Basilisk, so I'm a little bit ahead of him now. Enemy has been slain. I got you, Quaker. Alright. I'll fight him now if he wants to fight. I have full Bazzi and he doesn't. We both... I'm assuming we both have ultimates. If he didn't have such a ginormous wave, then maybe that'd be more even. Alright. I'll just ult him because he used all of his crowd control. He faster than me? Is he actually faster than me, bro? That's criminal. Why Grux base movement speed OP? I I did def I definitely needed to flash sooner than I did, but I am kind of surprised he was that much faster than me. I think I might have to go Citadel second. I think I do have to go Citadel second. I at least have to build the uh, the tunic here. If I don't have any armor, he just wins 1v1s for free. Because defense early wins, so... I do have crest. He went tank crest, so he shouldn't have crest yet. No, he doesn't. I don't have ult, so I actually have to be careful here. For that. For that reason. He has no flash. I'm out, but... Just for the reason that his ult cooldown is about half of mine at rank one. My ult cooldown is 150 base. And even with 20 CDR, like he has 20 CDR also. I mean, his ult cooldown is like 80 seconds right now. Max. Maybe 75. Gonna stay for another wave. I want to try and get green buff here. Yeah, Grex still doesn't have his crest yet. I mean, Ice Scorn Talons is a pretty good I win button for early game fights. Make him slower, make you faster, you do more damage. Freighter plus Citadel, there's no change in damage. Uh, I mean, there should be. There really should be. Again, this is not penetration. This is armor reduction. Change in 30 damage. Again, you're that's only against a base damage or a base stat steal, right? In the practice area. Like, there should be a change. There, I'm like, I know, I know that they stack. Because you can still stack two Citadels. Two citadels still still stacked with each other right now. Okay. Okay. I just do this. Oh, Gideon's here? Okay, man. Can we get Fang? Please? They're gonna go mini, but we have to get this Fang. I won my 1v1. I got my one. Okay, we got the Fang. Oh, they didn't go mini. It's actually just a positive trade for us. That was one for one, and we got Fang Tooth. That's just a that's just a good trade. 
And I think the wave is pushing into me. He's resp he respawned like five seconds before me, but I think the wave is pushing my direction. So he's gonna he will have lost a few more minions than I did. The enemy has activated the old prime. Seems negligible. After this game, I'll pull up I'll pull up my calculator. I'll just do the damage statistics for you. I'll just pull up. I'll just I'll just like I mean I know all the formulas. Like I'll just pull it up and I'll do this. I'll do the the damage calculation for you and just show you what the difference is. Because, yeah, against base armor steel, it, it probably looks like it's not a lot, but. So much sweat in it's a decent player. amount of extra damage. He still doesn't have crest. He's going bone saw second. Yo, Carapow, thank you for the seven monther, man. Welcome back to the pin zone. Welcome back to the pin zone, man. Why is Grex in mid? Why did Grex just walk to mid to die, bro? Oh, misclick. I checked that blue. I'm guessing it's down, but I'm just going to double check. I should be able to get his tower here. Like how half the minions walked away and the other half didn't. Like the minions don't even follow the minions, man. Alright. I get green buff, I base. I'm an item up on this guy. We're good to go. Alright. Yeah, I'm about to get my citadel and then we'll go perforator. The shred build. The you don't have defense anymore build. Wang's defense as well. The Richter's double D. Yeah. Build actually might kind of cook, man. We'll see. Again, I don't know exactly how all the items interact, but even if they don't interact favorably, it's still a lot of armor reduction. I don't know where the Grex went. There he is. He doesn't want to fight me anymore. I'm two levels up on him now. I do indeed have two levels on this guy. I'm going to see if I can help this fight in mid. The 3v4, I'm going to make it a 4v4. Or he's already dead. I'm going to make it another 3v4. No, fuck, man. I couldn't, I did, I should have ulted sooner. I tried to hold it too long and then I got chain CC'd. That was bad. Should have been able to kill the Kira, honestly. He has demo. He has demo second. Looks like none of my defense matters anymore. God, I hate that item so much, man. That's Richter flash, I guess. Oh, you're never killing that dude. Oh my god, okay. I was like, he's got him, he's got him, he's got him, he's got him. <laughs> armor reduction makes the armor penetration less effective. I mean, it does. But still, I mean, against someone with 300 physical armor, 20% reduction plus 24% reduction plus 30% penetration is still quite a bit. A lot of, a lot less armor. We will see how it feels. Again, like, for killing squishies, this build won't, like, it, this doesn't matter very much. If I'm hitting the Kira, it won't matter a whole lot. If I'm hitting, like, the Grux or the Richter, I don't know. If Grux builds defense, I guess. Grux hasn't built any defense yet. If I'm hitting the Richter, it would be pretty nice.
And they got it? No way. They stole it. That's so unfortunate. I'm just gonna try and get this tower. Like, I'm obviously way too late to make that rotation over there. It stinks that we all died and they got the fang, but... I do get to return a tower. Like, may I don't know, man. Maybe I should have tried to be there. Maybe I should have been over there. It highs my bit rate for live stream, 8k. The ma it's the that's the max for Twitch. The match for, it's the max for partners at least. I believe that uh, that affiliates are on a lower bit rate. I think your max is 6k if you're not a partner. Alright, got my got my got my stuff. I need five hundred more. I'm trying to think, like I I don't know. The Kira is actually kinda of hard for me to kill right now. I'd like to just go find her, because I do 1v1 her, but I'm guessing she will never ever be alone. She's gonna have a Richter up her booty the entire game. Of the streams. I appreciate it, sidekick. I appreciate it, man. Glad you enjoy the content. Rex is just holding waves on, on his inhib, man. They see Decker. I'm trying to figure out if the Kira died or not. I think she did. I thought she might have flashed. I could not tell if she died or if she flashed out. I don't know if I, I could, I legitimately, I could not tell if the Kira died or if she had flashed out. I, I was lost for a moment. Should probably just be pushing this mid tier two, honestly, but it's all good. I just had to wait. I have to jump out of the Gideon ult. I don't have any magic defense. There's no way that I just sit there and eat a full Gideon ult. So I have to leave there. But then I get to re-engage when my ramp jumps in. So I kind of I kind of baited my Decker. But she's my support. Supports were, were made to be baited, bro. 100%. Alright, Shred build is online. Shred build online. I think I need some more physical defense. I think I probably need... Probably want a Giant's Ring. This isn't super good on Greystone, but... I think it's pretty... I think it's still solid here. It's not amazing on Greystone because it procs when you ult. It, it procs when you press R, not when you come down from it. So you lose like half of your damage mitigation. Just because you're in the air. And untargetable for it. Okay, Richter should die. That tainted guard on the Richter kind of fucked me up there. Made my ult do nothing. I don't have my ult. I can't fight this guy. But if he pushes this wave, I'll grab it. Yeah, he's going to push it. That's fine. Does he have his bone saw? Bazzy bone saw? Ah. 
Minions. Minions, I swear I didn't leave, man. All I did was jump in place. I, I do have rank 3 ultimate now. Bro, I have to base. I have no ult. If I had my ult, I'd go in. But without it, at that low, I've got to run. wonder if I even build magic. I don't know. This guy, he's going bruiser. I probably do need some magic defense. Got that whole minion wave. Okay, I, I mean, I, I just can't help that guy. He's just in no man's land with five people on him. So this is primal. Like, they don't get to pull this for free. They don't get to, they absolutely cannot pull this for free. That was a really good Gideon ult. Gideon ult through the wall. That was pretty nice. They're all giga slowed. They should all die here, actually. You guys are giga out of position. Oh, I thought the Kira was alive still. If I had my ult, I would pull that. I think we go prime. Primal's kind of hard for us to take, but I think we do go prime here. I take this for the mana. Uh, I read all my DMs, Lullaby. Like I uh, like any like I read all my Discord DMs. Twitter DMs are, are weird because some of them just get blocked. A lot of Twitter DMs just get auto modded for some reason. But uh, I read all my Discord DMs. If you ever need me to, if you ever like have questions about like content, bread, whatever, you guys can always shoot me a DM. I'll always help you guys out with, with what I can, of course. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, we're gonna grab red. I mean, we just, we, we want to fight. We don't want to pull it. Like we we want to fight them. We don't want to pull the we don't want to pull the buff in front of them. Like Rampage doesn't take a lot of damage from it, but he does take damage. It's not like we have Muriel shields or anything. I do have two people in mid staring at me, and my team's just winning the four v three. So that works for me. Actually, ward through this fog wall. I'm just gonna ward through that fog wall. I want to know if they're if they're trying to come into this. We get Fang for free now. I just portaled. Okay. Get flash. There's no way that dude just portaled into the wave like that, bro. That was criminal. It was absolutely nuts. I'm gonna tank this for my rampage. Okay, never mind. I have prime and he doesn't, so I regen and he doesn't. You reproc perforator for the entire duration? Yes, it does. Yeah, my Q perma slows people. My Q does, in fact, permanently slow people. I don't even know what I want to go. I think I'm going to go Absolution. I don't think I need a crazy amount of magic defense. I don't know. Maybe I need more than that. I have a lot of dot damage. Like, between Gideon... Vanquish or Gideon Megacosm and Grux. I wonder if I go Vanguardian. Like, I know this item is dog, but against dot damage comps, it actually might not be terrible. Just because it'll stay procced forever. Enemy towers destroyed. Okay. Wright's pushing into us. That's fine. They saw me. Fine. Hook me. 
I don't know if they can hunt. They actually might be able to hunter to zero me right now. I'm not very tanky. I don't want to step in to hit. Our TB should not be the one splitting. I should be the one splitting. Because I still threaten towers, but my team kind of needs TB over here. I mean, they can't clear these prime minions. Our prime is about to fall off. We have primal for a while, but... I mean, I'm hitting this guy really hard. I mean, I'm chunking that guy. That dude has a... I mean, he has defense, too. That guy has Fire Blossom and Golem's Gift. And I'm chunking that guy. That was without Prime. My Prime fell off. Oh, that was a really good combo. I got my ult off. Don't have minions. That was a really good... That Grux pull into the Gideon ult was actually really nice. That was very good from those guys. I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I feel like my damage is kind of nuts. I know I have two and a half damage items, depending on what you count Citadel as, but I like my damage is kind of nuts. I am, like I am uh, level 18, and I don't know what level the rest of their team was, but still, my, like my damage felt really good.